Hey guys, I was just gonna light up the forge here. Like kind of Saturday sort of my forging day and I haven't done it for a while because I've just been really busy trying to get seeds out and all kinds of other stuff. But I wanted to show you this uh, setup I made for forging with charcoal. When you forge with charcoal, it's kind of a pain in the butt because it doesn't stick together. And every time you touch it, it just falls and spreads out. So normally like a coal forge would be, this is a coal forge. And there's a layer of clay that I put in here, which is actually cob. So it's a mixture of clay, straw, sand, and gravel, and you know stuff like that. Cast iron forges are—they're supposed to be clay. In fact, a lot of them, including this one, will have a little print in the the bed here that says clay before using. When you're using coal, yeah, this is just flat, but coal melts and it sticks together. So you can mound it up and pack it really well. Add a little bit of water, pack it and it forms a sort of dome so it makes almost like a little oven and yeah when you put things in and take them out it gets messed up but not nearly as much as charcoal coal also has a higher fuel value than charcoal so you don't have to use as much so you get a big pile of charcoal on a flat forge you're trying to you know keep it together and every time you move anything it just it's terrible it's awful so if you want to forge with charcoal you should definitely do something to contain it and uh, this is a system i made where this is the same material it's cob and i made these two bricks you can see they're a little hollowed out on the inside there on both of them just to make like a little bit of a, a space for more fuel and a kind of a parable effect so they slope out this way and any heat hitting the walls here is going to kind of bounce back inward and then i have two little uh, bricks that I made again out of cob that I can slide in and out. I can move them if I want to put something long through there. I have a bigger one. Let me, I got my little logo going here. I'm actually going to fill this with a uh, white lime putty, basically like a white plaster, and then sand it off so it, it shows up there. I got one on both sides here. I just press that in from a little uh, wood print that I did, wood block print. This is extra, so I, I'm just saving this in a bag in case I want to make any more stuff, like more of these blocks or something like that. So this one, you can see I put a hole in here just to be able to put rod uh, through that, and this could be drilled out bigger, or I could make ones with different things, or I could leave like a space, kind of, something like that. So these actually are completely free, and so what I did is I formed these while they were real wet and, and pliable, got the shape I wanted, I sprinkled a layer of ashes on this, which was still wet, and then I set them in place and made them exactly how I wanted, and then I just left them to dry. And since there was a layer of ashes in between, it was just really easy to break these free. So I can move those aside, put this in. For doing bigger stuff. Anyway, it's a pretty cool system. Uh, tonight I don't have any charcoal because I ran out and I was drying some. It took me like two weeks to dry it in the weak sun here and then uh, I forgot to cover it when it rained one night and now I have to start all over. So it's it's really wet. Like you can you could burn it if it was damp but not, not as wet as it is. So I do have some coal so I might just pop these out and throw some coal in there tonight. I like burning coal actually it's more convenient uh, it works better it's a higher fuel value in a lot of ways it's just it's nice so i actually like uh you know the smell of coal because i'm a blacksmith and you know the other blacksmiths out there will probably be able to relate you know it just reminds you of forging and and uh, lighting the forge and stuff but in an enclosed space without any ventilation like i actually have a hood for this that i could put on but it's not on here now uh it's pretty nasty to just sit and you know breathe it and this isn't this is partially open but the more open if you're burning coal the better so i tend to use charcoal also i can make charcoal myself which i really like and i'll be doing that pretty soon just to make some higher quality charcoal for this and i do burn the uh kind of like softer open burn charcoal that i make a lot for biochar so burning like the trench method even in the open pile method and it totally works it just burns up a little bit faster but all charcoal burns up really fast it's just a reality with with charcoal but again it's it burns a lot cleaner and you can make it although you know it makes a lot of ash and that's not exactly good to breathe either so it's better if you have some ventilation and eventually I'll, I'll put in some, my, maybe put that hood back and uh, get some ventilation going. And at least it'll take most of that stuff out. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that because if you ever want to experiment with uh, forging 
like you can just build a quick ground forge in you know less than an hour like a half hour even less sometimes with some bricks or something like that if you're burning charcoal you know make sure that if you're working with small stuff that you get those walls in close and, and put in some kind of walls to hold that charcoal in place you'll find out real quick if you don't do that if you just have kind of a big open pit or something like that the charcoal is not going to cooperate uh, the same way that coal does and I think this is a pretty good system. I've used it quite a bit now, and it, it seems to be working. I haven't done anything really big in it yet, so we'll see how it goes. I think this is going to work just great, and it's fully adjustable, which is also uh, very, very useful. You know, I don't want to fill this with, you know, valuable charcoal and be burning a huge fire when I'm just making some little hooks or, you know, chain or something like that. So... It's really versatile and, and uh, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna light this up and uh, just think around for an hour or so before I have dinner. 